Now, here's the story, okay? You're going to love this guy. As you wish. Now, this dude, I, he was another Airborne Ranger. He was... A, oh, and this one time at band camp? In uh, another... Pl what platoon was he in? He was in Bravo Company with me. Allegedly. But he was... Uh, second platoon, I think. Go on. He was out... His... His name, his, his last name was Lomas. What? And this dude was a fucking stud. Wouldn't look that way in the court transcript. Fucking awesome dude. And uh, when I got promoted to E5, he would come over uh, to the Webco weapons platoon area. And we had a big chalkboard. And he would write fucking sh insults. He would insult me, you know, by name, and then and then print and then sign his name. Who did it? What? And I would literally go over there and I would talk to his chain of command, and we would smoke that guy, and he he fucking loved it. But why? He he was a member. I mean, he knew it was a big game, and he just loved playing the game. Excellent. And he was fucking indestructible. The dude was great. Perfect at warrior attitude. Always laughed at the worst fucking shit. He's making me cry. You know, always positive. You you could not break this dude. He was You're not the only one with gifts. That's great. Well, in the first uh I think we're uh what were you like the first week we're there. We're like five or six days into selection. Are you threatening me? And uh, we're doing the land nav portion. And they give you a couple days, you know, to practice. They give you like two practices and then you do it for real. I know, right? Well, on one of these practices, Lomas found a squirrel that had been run over by a lumber truck. And then it had been baked like, like to paper. It had been squashed flat. And then baked dry by the sun. It's showtime. So he takes the squirrel, rolls it up, puts it in his pocket. Damn! Finishes the mission for the day. Comes back, you know, to uh, McCall. And just to torment the, the cadre. He said, had your kids, had your wife. He makes this small little cross, tacks the dead squirrel on it, and then puts a little sign above it that says, help me, help me, graders, or what is sergeant? Uh, my shit is black and tarry. You can't smoke me. This isn't hard enough. And he sticks this cross in the dirt right outside the head shed. Oh, shit. So when you're walking out, you see this. You're like, what the fuck? Exactly. Exactly. So it's like one in the morning ish. They wake us up like, get the fuck out of here. Ah. <laughs> and we're like, what the fuck is going on? These cadre are, they're yelling. They're kind of pissed off. Fucking men. And they hold up this fucking cross with the dead squirrel on it. Who the fuck did this? Who the fuck are you? That's bait. He doesn't even, like, there isn't, within a minute, he, like, raises his hand and goes, it was me. You think you're being cute? <laughs> Bitch, I'm adorable. <laughs> so, they take him back there, and they smoke the shit out of him for, like, 90 fucking minutes. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. God. And then after that, they loved him. He could do nothing wrong. You have no power here. They love that guy. Oh, because I don't know, man. I mean, you, you want to talk about some balls. Who's a big boy? Who's a big boy? Oh, God. 
that is some like uh next level shit right there i said put the bunny back in the box because you know i was barely hanging on i don't think i could handle you know doing what i'm doing and then getting smoked for 90 minutes and then <laughs> no and being able to keep doing it i mean it, it's that close physically you don't you don't have you know after like the third day you have no physical reserves you don't think you're special you literally are going out there you come back at the end of the day you are depleted That's just the way it is. And that guy, you know, I don't I don't know what happened to him, but you know, he got selected. I think he went active duty and he might have, you know, made it to the CIA. I don't know. I wish I was the monster you think I am. 